Facility management can be defined as a practice of coordinating the physical operations of the environment and people in an organization, uniting the whole principle of business administration, as well as the design process and matters related to engineering science. Building facility management is a requirement in every building system, especially public buildings such as hospitals, commercial status buildings, developmental complexes and residential buildings that have occupant density under one roof, such as apartments and condominiums. This is because, besides facilitating building administration in the aspect of maintenance of hygiene and basic infrastructure such as public toilets, parking lots, elevators, air conditioning systems and building plan control, it also aids efficiency in breakdown maintenance, building preservation and conservation, occupant or tenant welfare, as well as aspects of health and safety. So basically, uh, I'm heading the Agenda Facility Sendera Merhad, uh, one of the eight services under UEM Agenda. Uh, UEM Agenda is basically an asset and facilities management company. So as the name says, we provide total asset and facilities management to customers. <coughs> and uh, part of the uh, scope of work, you know, as far as my uh, division is concerned, is uh, providing uh, total asset management solution to our prospective customers. Uh, there are many areas actually in facilities management. As we all know, as building becomes bigger and more complex, uh, facilities management also becomes bigger and more complex. As far as Agenda facilities is concerned, we have about three to four areas of concern, beginning with hard services, soft services and property services, I would say or property management, you can call it. Um, hard services uh, involve the maintenance of key assets such as mechanical, electrical and civil equipment. And soft services deals with uh, cleaning services, security services, landscaping, uh, pest controls, uh, that will be under soft services. Whereas property management or property services deals with uh, tenant management, space management, uh, probably advertising, you know, and rental, and uh, bill collection, things like that. The first difference is that integrated facilities management, we're talking about combining uh, many, many tasks under one roof, okay? Why integrated is key because we are talking about managing a huge complex, big complex, you know, high-rise building. So imagine if you have uh, a building which is not properly maintained, I, I'm sure you will not want to be in that particular building because that building will have, for instance, like a vertical transportation system such as lift. So if the lift is not properly maintained, that will definitely compromise the building occupant safety. So two of the areas which I would say IFM is very important to any building is, first is to ensure that the building occupant safety is always on the high uh, note. And secondly, is to ensure that the building operates optimally under any type of condition. And most importantly is that during any disaster or even emergency situation, for instance in the case of a fire, everybody knows what needs to be done and, and all the procedures are properly taken care of. Two of the most important elements I would say in terms of competency and your response time. When we talk about competency, the last thing you want is someone who is not competent in managing your building. You need people with specific competency, especially when you talk about you know, modern buildings whereby a lot of technologies are being put into that building. So you need someone who really understands what needs to be done, uh, what has to be done you know, in terms of <clears throat> the scope of work, 
the the uh, frequency of the maintenance, you know, and then uh, of course at the same time with these competent people, you also need a uh, highly responsive team because uh, you, I mean, often there are cases whereby there's a breakdown which is critical to the building operation or even up to a certain extent to the safety of the building occupants. So you need that people to, to be there, you know, to arrive on time to settle this issue for you so that you will not create a bigger issue, you know, in the future. So I would say that two of the most important elements is competency and response time. Okay, when we talk about specific routines, you know, we go back to my original definition of hard, soft and property services or property management. So when we look into hard services, you are talking about equipment, uh, mechanical, electrical and civil equipment. So your job activities will evolve around these hard services, you know, maintaining air conditioning system, performing plant preventive maintenance, uh, ensuring the plumbing system are tip top, you know, there is no leakage here and there. And then we're talking about ensuring lightings are all in good shape. We're talking about vertical transportation system, uh, elevator or even escalator, you know, ensuring that everything operates up to the manufacturing uh, manufacturer specification. If you talk about soft services, we are talking about ensuring the buildings are always clean, you know, toilets are properly done up, you know, according to the um, agreed schedule, you know. And um, of course, you know, you are doing pest control probably twice a year and then uh, for instance like fire drill are being conducted on yearly basis those will be on the or maybe even grass cutting you know in the surrounding of the buildings that will be under the soft services and as far as uh, property management is concerned you're talking about ensuring you know customer relationship management are properly taken care and then uh, you know uh, billings are being done according to the respective schedules uh, and then of course uh, ensuring Tenants, you know, tenants are satisfied all the time. Uh, all the complaints are being attended to, and and that will wrap up basically the the hard, the soft, and the property management services as far as the typical scope is concerned. Okay, we heard. I think everybody, every, everyone has heard about this smart city. You know, so what is smart city? Smart city are a set of smart buildings or smart facilities connected together or even smart infrastructure, you know. As far as the technology is concerned, nowadays people are shifting into a new era of smart buildings whereby uh, the current smart building, the smart features lies within that building but in the future the smart features will lie in the cloud. The next thing that you should be expecting as far as uh, FM is concerned, not even only FM, even in any type of business is the Internet of Things and Big Data Analytics. These are the two key areas whereby you'll be seeing a lot of uh, facilities management taking advantage on IoT whereby each equipment or many equipment in the buildings will be interconnected with each, with each other through sensor and the sensor will generate signal uh, to a designated controllers or even uh, I mean what we call as the brain of the building which is situated in the cloud and whereby all the signal will be processed, processed and then a specific uh, process message will be sent to the integrated operation center telling the, the, the operator about what needs to be done as far as that building is concerned. So in the future or rather now you know we will say that uh, we are talking about what we call as uh, conditional based maintenance or predictive maintenance whereby you actually know when the equipment is going to break down but in the future they will even tell you in advance and it will go all the way to your smartphone for instance you basically know which equipment is going to fail and what needs to be done, what components you need to bring with you when you want to attend to that problem. So in other words, it's going to improve the building performance reliability. And of course, you know, that, that's what SMART is all about. It's all about you know? So IoT and Big Data Analytics is the way forward as far as IFM technology is concerned. Uh, okay, when we talk about uh, safety and health building working, this is one of the most critical elements not only in facilities management but also in any other areas, you know, in any other areas of job. Why safety and health is very important because uh, we are dealing with a lot of big equipments, you know, and each of these big equipment pose certain hazard to the either to the building occupants or to the operator or the maintenance personnel itself. So it is very important that each uh, personnel are being equipped 
with the uh, necessary knowledge as far as safety is concerned. In fact, uh, if you refer to my earlier statement regarding one of uh, two of the key important element in facilities management, which is competency. You know, so when we talk about competency, the staff or the maintenance personnel not only needs to be competent in terms of maintaining, but they must also be competent in terms of the safety uh, uh, aspect of that uh, of, of doing that job. So as far as the company is concerned, you know, Agenta facilities or even UAM Agenta, we are adopting an OSAS 18001 uh, safety standards, you know, whereby one of the key elements in OSAS 18001 is HIREC or also known as uh, Health Hazard Identification, Risk Assessment and Risk Control, whereby each of the maintenance steps or even each of the work will be analysed and each steps of the work will be analysed from safety point of view, what are the associated risks in performing that job. For instance, like if you were to do a change over uh, for a gen set, you know, for instance, you will need to understand for every step that you do the job, what kind of risk you are facing and what kind of uh, impact you will, you will receive in the case you did not follow the safety procedure. Once you understand all the associated risks, then the necessary measure can be applied for instance like wearing probably safety gauntlet you know uh, working uh, like uh, 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 you know working uh, with a teammates you know rather than you work, you work alone and and so on and so forth so safety is very important because the last thing you want is to have uh, you know casualty or even accident while maintaining the building So my advice to all the students is to basically choose your area, you know, whether you want to go into hard or you want to go into soft services or even you want to go into property services or property management. Basically, you know, if we look at the hard and soft services, there's a variety of uh, roles, you know, you can either become a technician, you can either become a handyman, you can become a charge man, you know, as far as electrical is concerned. Uh, you can also become a specialist in mechanical system as far as air conditioning system because air conditioning is one of the area which takes up a lot of uh, cost as far as maintaining a building is concerned. Uh, you can also become a, a safety supervisor for instance, you can also become a, a, cleaner, super, a cleaning supervisor you know, because there are various standards, standards in the industry as far as cleaning is concerned. And, uh, and of course, you know, in the end, you can also become an operation director if you want to talk about the, the biggest role of, an, uh, uh, of a prospect in this IFM industry. So I would say that choose your areas and start focusing on what you think that you are good at. And, 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 then, and there you go, you know, there, there's a lot of opportunity as far as IFM is concerned. And, and it's not a small industry, it's a very huge industry and, and we need people, definitely we need people to basically contribute to this IFM industry and it is one of the industry which is going to contribute a lot to the uh, national economy uh, growth. You know? Building facility management which covers the engineering and maintenance requirements not only helps to ensure the comfort and quality of the occupants